this week we introduced the SVT DO OCN sentence pattern. This sentence pattern is very similar to the SVLPN sentence pattern. So in the SVLPN sentence pattern, the subject, which in this case is Sarah, equals the predicate nominative, so president. So Sarah equals the president. In the SVT DO OCN sentence pattern, it's very similar that it's also going to replace the word, but it's going to do it with the direct object instead of the subject. So the subject in the sentence is they. They elected, so this is verb transitive, they elected who or what? Sarah, they elected Sarah. So that's a direct object. They elected Sarah to what? They elected her what? They elected her president. So that's the O, C, N. And we can follow all of that with our question confirmation chart. So Sarah equals president in this case. The OCN will always be a noun. It, this is not a common sentence pattern, so it's only gonna be done with the verbs that indicate change perceive or judge. They tend to be words like make, call, judge, choose, elect, nominate, name, and paint. The OCN will also always come after the direct object. So we're going to diagram this one really quick. Here's the line, the line that divides subject from predicate. We're going to have a vertical line dividing the, sub the verb from the direct object, and then just like in the SVLPN sentence pattern, it reflects back, so this line is going to be angled. Then we can just fill it in. Subject is they. Verb, elected. Direct object, Sarah. OCN, president. Not going to fit the whole word. We also went over the quidditch quo. So, for the quidditch quo, you're going to Fill in the top gray line with one word per column from the sentence. So they elected Sarah president. Then you're going to look on the side. This is noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, and so on. So they is a pronoun. So we're going to go down to pronoun. We're going to box in that section of the chart. Elected is a verb. So we're going to go down to verb, box in that section of the chart. Sarah, noun, president, noun. So then we know how to fill out all of these. Um, this week we filled out noun and pronoun. We added that to the verbs. So we're going to go down and just answer all of them. So they, person, first, second, or third. It's third. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Is it the gender? Is it masculine, feminine, neutral, common? Um, we don't necessarily know in this case. If we do, we can fill it in. Otherwise, it would just be common. Um, and then the other pronouns, demonstrative, interrogative. That's really good for your student to remember the chart. Um, so send them back to the chart this week. Again, so Sarah, singular, common, or proper. It's proper. The concrete, abstract, collective, compound. It's concrete because Sarah is real. And so on. For IEW this week, we introduced the number five clausal opener. So, remember how we did clauses for complex sentences? No. The clause is going to have the www.asia.web, or in this case, B. Stop, this. So, it's when, while, where, as, since, if, although, and because. So, we take our sentence, Sarah was scared, and we say when Sarah jumped in the lake, Sarah was scared. Or while running away from dinosaurs, Sarah was scared. Or where there are spiders, Sarah was scared. As Sarah walked into a spider web, Sarah was scared. Since Sarah walked into a spider web, Sarah was scared. If Sarah walks into a spider web, Sarah will be scared. Although there were no spider webs, Sarah was scared. Because there were spider webs, Sarah was scared. So this is just another opener to add. It'll be different than the <coughs> clause in the paper, so they'll have two of them now.